Let's talk about PCS Sync 2 for Belvoir. This is the 2024 edition. In this video, we're going to cover six different sections. First, we're going to tell you all there is to know or all you need to know about Northern Virginia, like a brief overview. Second, we're going to talk about your VA entitlement. So how large of a VA loan you could take out in this area. Then we're going to move to the BAH rate. So how much do you get paid for housing? Next up, we're going to talk about Fort Belvoir's location. So where is it at on the map? Follow by your commute. And we're going to talk about different commuting options, whether you're driving, using public transportation. The last thing we're going to do is talk about some neighborhoods you should know when you are PCS into this area. I think this would give you like some broad overview of the neighborhoods and what they have to offer. Before we begin, I'm Abraham Walker with Ask A Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. On this channel, we do all the research so you don't have to. When you're ready to start your real estate journey, whether that's buying a home, selling a home, or investing in real estate, click the link in the description to fill out your perfect home questionnaire. After you complete the form, we'll schedule a time to meet online via Zoom to answer any and all of your real estate questions. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for future videos about relocating to the Northern Virginia area. Let's dive right in. First up is Northern Virginia or living in Northern Virginia, what it's like, right? So Northern Virginia is a fairly large metropolitan area. While we are a suburb to DC, Northern Virginia by itself is still fairly large. Now, Fort Belvoir is actually in Fairfax County, one of six areas in uh, Northern Virginia or that make up Northern Virginia. Fairfax County alone has over a million people living in it, making it one of the more heavily or densely populated areas in Northern Virginia. Now, Fairfax County is in the middle, okay? And then to the Northeast, you have Arlington. Then to the Southeast, you have Alexandria City. To the West, the Northwest, we have Loudoun County. Then you move a little bit further South, you have Prince William County. And at the very South, we have Stafford. When you look at Northern Virginia on a map, you'll see that DC is closer to Arlington and Alexandria City. Those areas are going to be more city-like or more urban-like. As you move further away, it gets more suburban or suburb-like, right? So more trees, more space between houses. But you probably are thinking that it gets much more affordable as you get further away from Arlington and Alexandria City. That's not really the case. I mean, Loudoun County has some of the highest sales prices in the region, and it is pretty far away from DC proper. If you're looking for affordability, then you're probably looking at Prince William County or Stafford. Just keep in mind that Stafford is about an hour away from Fort Belvoir. Because of the high home prices, your VA entitlement, which is your loan limit, is going to be some of the highest in all of the country. Actually, it is the highest in the country. And that limit is $1,149,825. Because we have a high VA entitlement, that means we also have higher BAH rates. So the 2024 BAH rates for an E6 without dependents is going to be $2,739. With dependents, it's going to be $3,360. For an O4 without dependents, it's $3,534. With dependents is $4,056. And because of those BAH rates, we usually see individuals who are PCSing to Fort Belvoir purchasing homes between the six and $700,000 price points. Now, if you're curious, if you had a 6% interest rate on a $600,000 property, assuming no down payment, your monthly payment would be about $4,500. And that includes your taxes, insurance, and a $100 HOA fee. Most properties in Northern Virginia have HOA fees, so you might as well factor that into the process. As far as Fort Belvoir's actual location is concerned, you're in the southeastern part of Fairfax County next to Lorton and Alexandria, Fairfax County, which is not to be confused with City of Alexandria. Fort Belvoir is 20 miles south of DC proper 16 miles south of the Pentagon and 24 miles north of Quantico. The base has two major roads that you'll use to get to and from the base. This is unlike the Pentagon 
So the Pentagon, one of the more popular bases in the country, maybe even the world, has several roads that lead to the Pentagon, where Fort Belvoir has one major road that cuts straight through it, which is going to be Route 1, also known as Richmond Highway. And then the second one is going to be I-95, which is still three miles away. If you're trying to get to 395 or 95 or 495, you can get to the Mixon Bowl, which is where all of these interstates connect. And that's about seven miles away. Another thing that's different from the Pentagon and Fort Belvoir is that there's no dedicated metro stop at Fort Belvoir. So if you catch the metro or if you're thinking about catching the metro to Fort Belvoir, then you have you do have a couple options. You do have a couple option, options. The nearest metro station is going to be the Franconia Springfield on the blue line. So let's say you make it to that metro station, you'll catch a bus, the Fairfax Connector bus, either 335 or 334 at the time of this recording. There are some other metro stations you can catch a bus directly to Fort Belvoir. They are the Huntington Station, which is on the yellow line. That's about 12 miles away. And then you also have some blue line stations, which are going to be the Eisenhower Avenue and King Street. And you can take a Rex bus directly to Fort Belvoir via Route 1. Rex stands for Richmond Highway Express. Let's say that you you're thinking about living somewhere off of the VRE line, right? So maybe Stafford, maybe Fredericksburg, depending on what you're comfortable with. Well, the VRE has two stops that are near Fort Belvoir. They are the Lorton VRE station and then the Franconia Springfield Metro station. The Lord Vieri station is five miles from Fort Belvoir, and you would catch another Fairfax Connector bus 171 to the base, or you will just catch the VRE to the Franconia Springfield station, and you'll use the same bus details I mentioned earlier for that metro stop. Okay, so now that we know where Fort Belvoir is, we know how you're going to get there, let's talk about where you're going to live. So I'm going to give you four neighborhoods, and the first one is going to be the closest, the last last one is going to be the furthest away. The first place is where I live, which is Kingstown. We've been living here 10 years. We would love to have you as a neighbor. Now, now that that pitch is over, Kingstown is, is like right outside of the base. So about 15 minute drive, depending on which part of Kingstown you live in. Kingstown is a, um, a planned community. So there is an HOA. HOA does an amazing job maintaining the uh, common areas. Also, we have two pools, two fitness centers, Centers. We have tennis courts, we have pickleball courts, volleyball courts, miles of walking trails. And if you live in certain parts of the neighborhood, you can, your kids can walk to school. Yes. So the part of Kingstown we live in, which is Kingstown South, our kids walk to elementary school, which is Lane. And now they walk to secondary school, which is Hayfield. Another bonus to living in Kingstown is the Kingstown Town Center, which is filled with creature comforts, right? So you have notable stores like World Market, TJ Maxx. You also have a theater. You have several restaurants. There's two grocery stores. Across the street is a Walmart. If you're looking for expensive furniture, there's a Lazy Boy. We also have a a Wegmans within five minutes of the community. So there's a lot of reason to live in Kingstown and we love it. We've been here for 10 years. We highly recommend it. But let's talk about property types in Kingstown. So there's really four different types of properties you can purchase in Kingstown. Single family duets, which are gonna be larger single family homes, or I guess single family homes that share one wall. Sometimes they could be confused with townhouses. Then we have townhouses. Finally, we have condos. So for your price point, or for the price point we see a lot of people who PCS to Fort Belvoir fall in, that's six to 700,000, you're probably targeting a townhome. So the townhome we have here for you to see, just so you can kind of get an idea of what these townhomes look like, is a three bedroom, three bathroom property with 2,006 square feet. There is a finished basement though. So it's about 620 square feet or so. And finished basements are very common for townhouses. Okay, so we have this 
townhouse right here in Kingstown. So as soon as you walk into the townhouse, you are on the main level. So you walk in through the front door over here. You have the kitchen to the front and then you have the living area, then the dining area, right? And so then you have those stairs that either take you to the bedroom level or you could take them down to the basement, right? So this is a very common townhouse layout with the kitchen off to the front. And then we have the owner suite, right? So owner suite, a lot of people position their beds between these two windows right here. The doors to the right over here are going to be your bathroom. And then you have your closets right there. So there's your bathroom. I've even seen some people uh, store, you know, have a ladder and, and store some luggage and whatnot up here at the top there. So this is a pretty common shower size for this price point right here. And then we just have your bedrooms and that's that hall bathroom. Just let you take a look at it. All right, and then this is your basement, right? So this basement has a fireplace in it. And like I mentioned, so because you don't have a garage, this room is to the uh, front of the property. And then we have your, this, this secondary room to the back of the property, right? Sometimes you see people using it as like a, a game room, family room, kids playroom. And then we see the those washer and dryers right there. Nice thing about this property, you have yourself a appears to be a full bath in the basement. Yes, it is. And then you have a little small postage stamp backyard. All right. So there you have it. That's what a king, that's what a townhouse is. Very common property type, especially for that six to seven hundred thousand dollar budget, and especially for people who don't want a long commute. But let's say you do want a long commute, or let's say that the commute isn't an option for you. You can move a little bit further away to West Springfield. In West Springfield, there's a neighborhood called West View Hills. It's around 11 miles away from Fort Belvoir. So it should take you about 30 minutes to get there, right? So this is a single family home community. No townhouses, no condos. If you live in West View Hills, you're more than likely just driving to work. So we don't need to talk about the metro stations or any nearby VRE stations, okay? So let's look at a property right now um, in the Westview Hills community. So this is a property that's sold for $615,000. It has four bedrooms, three baths. It is 1,856 square feet, and you have a quarter of an acre of a lot, right? So this is that single family home in West Springfield, the split level here. So when you have a split level, you come through the front door, you have a small landing, and you can either go up or down. In this one, we're going up first. So you have your kitchen off to the front corner of the property and then you have like this open living space this door right here leads to the backyard right so sometimes you even have the kitchen next to the like position to the back of the property next to that that back patio door and this open space is a combination living room dining room area right so you'll 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 see sometimes people put their table right here on this like little strip here so think of it like an l shape and then they'll they'll put the living room furniture or TV on the other side. So at this price point, you're not going to get an updated kitchen in this area. So that's that's something you'll just have to make peace with because this is on the lower side for single family homes, which is another reason why you see people extending their commutes to get a little bit more modern uh, property. So we have our owner's owner suite right here. We're gonna have ourselves a, a small owner's bath, right? So you have the little sh shower here. You, you only have a single vanity. And then this is that entrance that I was telling you about with the split levels where you come through the front door and you make a decision. It's, it's choice time, right? So this is uh, the basement that is finished. There are some, sometimes you see in uh, the split level home, some maybe like half of the basement sometimes is un finished so it just depends so we have ourselves a full bathroom in this particular basement here and just some more storage space and you have that backyard off of that patio there right but let's say that you want a normal commute right i would say a normal commute in northern virginia is like 45 minutes to an hour a lot of people who move here are really comfortable with 45 minutes to an hour. And if that's you, then Lake Ridge is going to be one of the neighborhoods you have to check out. Lake Ridge is like a Kingstown, but it's larger. There's way more green space. Also parts of Lake Ridge are off of the Aquaquan River. So you get river views from your townhouse. 
There's no single family homes that I'm aware of that have river views. They put all the townhouses over there. It's a huge HOA, 1,000 acres of land, and they have all of the amenities too, right? So you have a pool, you have boat ramps, you have sports fields, and you have walking trails, right? So it's a really, 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 really nice place. Really nice place. As far as creature comforts go, right? So like your restaurants, grocery shopping, those are close to you, right? But the noteworthy ones that you may or may not have heard of, heard of are Stonebridge at Potomac Town Center. That's where your nearest Wegmans is going to be located. That's going to be five miles away from you. And then at that same development, there's some really good restaurants. There's also a movie theater there. Also, what's five miles away from you is going to be Potomac Mills Outlet Mall, right? So rather large outlet mall. There's a Costco in the parking lot. There's also an Ikea right across the street. It's a place that's very popular on weekends. Lake Ridge falls in that commute time where it may be more of a hassle for you to catch public transportation than it is for you just to drive. So we see most people who are stationed at Fort Belvoir, they just drive from Lake Ridge. And Lake Ridge is not right off of I-95, but you do have some ways to get to I-95. But once you're on I-95, it's a pretty convenient commute to Fort Belvoir. Okay, so the house that we're going to look at sold for $610,000 at four beds, four baths, 1,764 square feet, 0.27 acres, and an attached garage, which is a common feature in this neighborhood and for this price point, right? It does have a finished basement as well with a walk out. This is the property in Lake Ridge. So you have your garage right off of the property, very common layout in Lake Ridge. As soon as you walk through the front door, you're usually greeted by steps. Sometimes these steps are a little bit further away, depending on the size of the property. And you will have a choice to either go left or right. And you could, you'll be uh, either Either in the dining room or you'll be in the like the formal living room area so you can see here to the right you have the formal living room we have our little den area with the half bath or the powder room so now we're on the bedroom level so in the kitchen this is actually a larger kitchen than you normally see in this particular price point right here so sometimes you don't see this lip right here or this l-shaped portion of the counter so don't be surprised if you see a kitchen that just has this this one side of cabinets okay and we have our dining room right here off of the kitchen so we walk out off of the main living area you have a nice little deck there and then we have our our walkout basement okay so in the basement you usually see a finished basement right it's not common to see unfinished basements they do exist they do exist oh wow this person was like some type of youtuber the last community i want to talk to you about is also the furthest community away from fort belvoir and that's a choir harbor in stafford now stafford is down i-95 and it's 28 miles away from fort belvoir these 28 miles can be grueling gruesome that stretch of I-95 is heavily trafficked. It, it's notorious for accidents. So just keep in mind, this is supposed to take you 60 minutes to get from Stafford to Fort Belvoir, but a lot of it depends on what time of day and whether the moon is in the right spot. I mean, um, traffic here is it's, it's interesting, okay? Now, Acquire Harbor is another cool development, which is why we're, we're highlighting it here, because you have swimming pools, you have tennis courts, you have parks, but you also have horse stables, a driving range, and a nine-hole golf course. And there's some water around Acquire Harbor. So if you maybe had a canoe or something like that, you can get some water action in as well. As far as creature comforts are concerned, Acquire Harbor does have like a restaurant inside of the development. There's also a checkpoint, like a security checkpoint to ensure or I guess decrease the risk of bad things or bad people come into the neighborhood. But right outside of Acquire Harbor, Garrisonville Road runs straight into Acquire Harbor. Garrisonville Road is where all of the creature comforts for Stafford is located. So you have a Target, you have grocery stores, you have a Panera Bread, you have several restaurants. So you're right close to everything 
living in a quiet harbor. Now, I will say, though, when you live in a quiet harbor, you, it, it, they're, they're winding roads to get out of a quiet harbor. But once you get out of a quiet harbor, then you're pretty close to a lot of things that most people want, especially for all your weekend uh, errands, okay? The last thing I want to tell you about a quiet harbor is as soon as you come out of the community, the interstate, the on-ramp is right there. So you can quickly get on the interstate and start your commute, which is also a cool little feature. So speaking of the interstate, maybe you don't want to drive from Acquire Harbor to Fort Belvoir. Well, you could take the VRE. There is a VRE station eight miles away from Acquire Harbor, and it is called the Brook Station. So you would hop on that VRE train, and then you would get off at either Lorton Station or Franconia Springfield, and then catch the bus to the base. All right, so now we're looking at the Stafford property, and the Stafford property is significant significantly bigger than all the other properties we've seen, but you do have to, you know, you just have to deal with a, a longer, a bit of a long commute. As soon as you walk in, you have like a nice little foyer area, stairs that give you a nice little presentation here. To the right here, we have your formal living room followed by your formal dining room. And then to your left there, you're gonna have like your great room to the left of the property. Now we're in the kitchen. The kitchen's like in the back middle part of the uh, property there. Not sure why that TV was right there. There. It is common to see um, cooktops in the islands as well. And then we have your kind of like a, a family room, a great room connected to the kitchen area. So we kind of see the, here, this is a good shot. So this is a very common layout in homes of this size. Okay, this little step down, also common. And then you have a nice large balcony. This is that powder room on the main level. And you have yourself an office as well. I believe we're in the, so this is the owner's suite right here. You have your, oh, actually this is not the owner's suite. This is just a, a, a bedroom that has a full bathroom. So this room right here is the owner's suite. So you have the, more or less like the bedroom area. And then you have like a sitting room off to the side there. You have huge walk-in closet tub and shower and you have your double vanity also with a makeup station uh as well and now we're in the basement right so finished basement really high ceilings in the basement and there's a full bathroom as well so pretty nice now that we got that out the way we have two more video ideas we're thinking about so we're thinking about doing a homes that are within 30 minutes uh, yeah 30 minute commute to fort belvoir and homes or communities that are within 60 minutes of fort belvoir if you think that either one of those videos are a good idea let me know in the comment section and also we appreciate everybody who watched up to this point if you have any questions you know how to get in touch with us and we will see you on the next video peace